Hello, my lovely Cancerians. Welcome to your October 2019 reading. I hope this reading finds you all well and excited to see what the month ahead holds for you. This is a general reading for you, my lovely Cancerians. It's a reading for Cancer Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Also listen to your Rising Sign and Moon Sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun Sign will. We'll also add layers to your monthly reading, so it's also good to uh, have a listen to those things as well. This is a general reading. If you would like to have a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a private reading from there, which is going to be specific to you. I'd like to thank you all for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting on my channel. I, I really appreciate that and I thank you for it. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button um, so that you are aware of when or you know when I post videos, um, new videos for you. Also, you can hit the notification bell, then you will never miss out on a wonderful video. So let's have a look at what's in store for you, my lovely Cancerians. I feel like you're coming from the past where, what have you learnt so far? What have you learnt? I feel like you, my lovely Cancerians, have learnt a lot about yourself. You've learnt a lot about um, being in charge, uh, making decisions, taking control of um, your environment, your future, um, and finding strength in that. Standing up for your convictions is what I'm feeling. Um, with you Cancerians is where you're coming from really being able to stand up for what you believe in stand up for your convictions stand up for what you want and uh, you know stand up and be counted on hearing as well so I think that's that's a really lovely place to find yourself uh, you know coming into October to see what's in store for you initially when October hits you've got the hermit here and the hermit is really asking you to hey maybe take some time out and go into your shell and just reflect have some time to really get some inner guidance find some do some soul searching get find that quiet time that quiet space I feel like you're going to um, have that energy around you where okay let's regroup find that quiet space so that I can identify where I'm going what I'm doing what I want to achieve and what goals I want to set myself shedding some light into your next um, part of your your journey part of your decision making because what is causing that what the trigger for that is is you have many dreams many goals many ambitions many things you want to put in place a lot of things you want to achieve um, this new phase in your life this next chapter in your life is is one that is going to shed light on just what you want out of out of this part of your life what you're wanting to achieve what are your dreams and your goals and they're all there lined up for you for you to simply choose all of them some of them one of them um, you will know what you want out of life what goals you want to set and what opportunities you want to reach out and grab by the time that you're taking to do some soul searching in a reflection and that's important that you do that on your own without um, outside influences, without anyone telling you what they feel like you should do. It's really about withdrawing and really finding out what it is you want, what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to do. Because what your dreams and ambitions are is that you find that happiness, find that beauty, find that luxury, find that place in life where you belong, where you feel at home, where you are surrounded by friends, by family, by comfort, by what you feel is beautiful, by um, finding beauty in those long walks along the beach, in the forest, on the mountain, wherever it is for you, but also to be able to create what is beautiful to you and that is different for different people. Some people think a big apartment overlooking the water is fabulous and that's what they want to achieve. Some other, someone else might want a little mud hut out in the middle of nowhere and that's their ideal, that's their idea of, of beauty, of what they're wanting. So, you know, what, what people want is all, it's different. It's different. What is your level of, of 
um, appreciation and beauty and uh, being surrounded by lovely things. It's different for everyone. Um, but this inner reflection is going to help you along. It's going to help you discover what it is you're wanting to achieve because it's also about the, the wheel of fortune. It's about it's your turn to shine. It's your Things are coming up around you. Um, it's coming around full circle. It's coming around full circle and the opportunities are going to be there for you to really change direction, to really change what you're getting out of life, how you're living your life, what you're doing, how you're earning your money or not, how you, you know, maybe you've retired and, and change is coming in in that way. But it's it's about things coming full circle and this is there's this ease of difficulty, there's this ease, a passage out of difficult times, a passage out of conflict that's being offered to you in October. So it's quite a tranquil um, month. But with the change that's coming in, it's really important. You've got the chariot here. It's really important that you take charge of, of your destiny. You take charge of your decision making. It's not for anybody else to influence you or anybody else to make those choices and decisions. You know, you've been given this, the wheel of fortunes come around, back around to you uh, for you to be able to make new choices and decisions that are going to suit you, that are going to help you achieve your goals and your dreams and your desires. Now, if you let somebody else come in and influence that, you're going to find yourself back at square one, back where you started um, for everything that you've learned about really holding your ground, guarding your territory, guarding the the uh, the road that you've travelled so that you, you're being protective about how far you've come. Don't give that away. Don't allow anybody else to come in and make those decisions for you. Find that inner guidance, inner strength to be able to make those new life-changing choices and decisions yourself. October is going to give you an opportunity to make those life-changing choices and decisions um, and allow you to achieve your goals and dreams, whatever that is. You know, it could be rediscovering your hobbies if you're retiring, you know, to, to redesign what your future looks like um, rather than being controlled in the nine to five treadmill of life. Starting a new business, starting a new project, achieving something in a corporation that you're working in, going for a promotion. What are those dreams? But you're driving this. You're the one that can make it succeed or you can hand it over to somebody else to drive for you. Um, and then you'll have to start all over again. Um, so that's really important. As you move into October, my lovely Cancerians, you're going to reach a time where it's going to be... Um, your intuition is going to be really strong. Your dream life is going to be really strong. You are going to get a lot of messages via your dreams um, from the spirit realm, from your guides, from your tribe. Um, there's messages that are going to come through for you while you are sleeping. So before you fall asleep, ask, ask the questions. Ask for answers of what you're, to what you're seeking. Ask guidance to what you're wanting to do. And that will come through in the form of dreams. It might not be immediate, it might take a couple of nights, but it will happen. Uh, you know, you'll wake up and go, wow, I had an interesting dream last night. And then you'll get about your business and you'll forget what you dreamt. So have a journal, write down some key words of how you felt, um, what message was coming through for you, um, which is, you know, you've got help here. You've, you're being assisted in, in moving forward. What project do you want to put in place? What are you thinking about doing? What projects are you wanting to um, manifest or create? What ideas have you got? It's really interesting. Um, what changes you, you know, it could be a marriage, an engagement, birth of a child, purchase of a house, a holiday, a move, a, a promotion, a change of job, um, changing how you work, working fewer days. It's going to be different for all of you, but there's achievements here. It's your, the wheel has come around full circle. It's time for you to bring in the changes that you're desiring in your life, the changes you've been striving towards and dreaming about. It's now time to bring them into reality and you're driving this. Anything's possible. 
anything's possible. There's no limitations. There's no limitations. This is the Queen of Wands, male or female here. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, that is around you. Um, that is also a driving force. I feel like this person that's around you, this, this Queen of Wands, male or female, sun rising or moon sign is a bit of a nag. I just feel like they don't stop talking. Talk, 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 talk. It's almost like they're trying to wear you down. Who is this person? Who is this person that's trying to wear you down, that want you to do what they want you to do? You need to hold on to those reins so tightly, be so ever protective of what you want to put in place and who you're going to allow to influence you because I feel like this person's a real talker and they can, can take take over if you're not careful. So uh, forewarned is forearmed as far as that person goes. For some of you, that is actually you. It's you being strong enough to make those choices and decisions, following your dream, your life's purpose, following what makes you enthusiastic. Um, it, it's really following your passion. You're going to have that drive. That's what you want to do. That's what might be coming through in your dream life, how to do that, how to find that passion, spending that time early in October focusing in on what you want, reflecting in on what you want is going to pay off because it's going to give this energy direction. This energy in October is going to have direction and that's going to be really important because there's nothing, absolutely nothing holding you back. Nothing is holding you back. You've got the strength card here. You can achieve whatever it is you're wanting to achieve in October. What plans do you want to bring in? What goals do you want to achieve? What things do you want to put in place? What changes do you want to make? You are able to do that. There's nothing standing between you and your and the realisation of your dreams, the bringing into your reality what it is you've always worked towards, what, what it is you've always wanted. Is it love, a relationship, marriage, um, that great job or not having a nine to five job, having more flexibility and freedom, um, put you know starting up your own business what is it that you've wanted to do have a have, have a little hut by the beach and just enjoying each day and what it brings it's, it's all there for you it's all within your reach my lovely cancerians because your final card sees october out with the ace of wands there's a lot of wands here there's a lot of fire a lot of passion a lot of um, creativity and this means to me it's about finding your purpose your life's purpose how do you find your life's purpose what brings you joy it's as simple as that what brings you joy what puts that spring in your step what when you get out of bed think oh wow I've got you know this is work wow how am I lucky what is it for you that that gives you that because this is what's opening up for you for November, December and getting you set up for 2020. 2020 is going to be a year that's going to bring in a huge amount of change for you, huge amount of change, a huge amount of, of making money, working, um, living your life in a different way. There's something different coming in and this is the start of it. This is the start of it. It's about acknowledging it and starting to put things in place to really... Um, achieve your life's purpose, achieve what makes you happy, achieve that what puts that fire in your belly. Uh, a lot of very, very great new beginnings that are going to come about very quickly for you. They're going to come about very, very quickly for you. I'm going to give you angels of abundance here and let's see. Oh wow, they're going everywhere. There's two cards here, so I'm going to give you two cards. They're both pink. <laughs> they're both pink. This one, partnership partnership and that may be what you're seeking allow healthful supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources which is your dream life and this person here that also needs to be watched though but they don't take over Clean energy food, clean energy food, that's also about when you fuel your body with 
health, healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And I think the key word here is that you are going to attract a higher, uh, you, you're going to develop a higher vibration through the hermit, through finding some time out for yourself, collecting your energies. And that will attract golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And that's the opportunities that are coming your way by the end of October. So that's pretty fantastic. I'm going to give you a card from the heart deck. What does this say? Dreams coming true. Dreams coming true. That's the start of it in October. You're going to have this potential of your dreams turning into reality, which is what this is this month's been about for you. I really like that. You're coming from this place of hard of work. You, this is the culmination of that. This is the culmination of that. This is where you now you have the opportunity to actually realize these dreams that you have, these ambitions that you have, these changes that you want to bring in. So utilise that energy this month um, because the more you utilise it, the more you work with it, the more productive that energy is going to be. It's not something that's just going to happen to you while you're sitting watching TV on the lounge. You know, you've got to be active. There's free will and there's decisions that you need to make as well. So go with it. Go with this energy and use this opportunity to really bring in the changes that you're seeking in your life. So I hope that resonates for you, my lovely Cancerians. I wish you many, many blessings for the month of October. If you'd like to have a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. Much love and many blessings to you, my lovely Cancerians.